Kevin McPhee, King of Germany, Timex in the European driving seat, November 9er celebrates before play even starts, and more. Welcome to a spooktacular poker set. Last weekend saw the World Series of Poker Europe come to an exciting climax at the Spielbank Casino in Berlin, Germany. With 10 WSOP events remaining for 2015, the fight was on for the Player of the Year race. Kevin McPhee, who clearly has a soft spot for the city after becoming EPT champion there back in Season 6, also became a WSOPE main event champion and now two-time bracelet owner after winning his first this summer in the 5K event. He managed to best the 10,450 euro entry main event field of 313, beating Spain's David Lopez heads up for a payday of 883,000 euros. Not bad for five days work. His win was enough to see him jump to third in the POY race, just behind runner-up Canadian Jonathan Duhamel, who picked up his third WSOP bracelet and €554,000 after taking down the final €25,600 high roller event in Berlin. But neither McPhee or Duhamel had it in them to eclipse the POY champion, who was Mike Gordinsky. Just a stone's throw away from Berlin, the enchanting Mediterranean island of Malta has seen Season 12's European Poker Tour commence its huge 76 event festival in the last week. The 10,200 euro single day high roller drew in many familiar faces, including Ole Shemian, Liv Barry, and Mustafa Kanit. But it was season reg Steve O'Dwyer who bested the field and Finland's Ilari Sami's heads up for a payday of over 327,000 euros. The Finns seem to have had a week of second best in Malta, as Ua Helpi was also defeated by Mike Timex McDonald, who fought the jet lag to defeat the 74 huge name field and take down the 25k high roller for just under half a million euros. Mike is also running very well in the main event. Over to Las Vegas, which will be home for the impending November 9 in the coming weeks. The $1,600 Windfall Classic has just concluded play, with a field of 267 and a prize pool of over $388,000. Interestingly, on this occasion, it was a current November 9er who reigned victorious. 24-year-old Joseph McKeon claimed the first prize of over $90,000 and, of course, a little more practice for his big appearance. Staying stateside for the latest WSOP circuit event at the Horseshoe Casino in Hammond, Southern Indiana, which has just concluded its 13 ring events. The main event was a $16.75 buy-in with over 1,376 entries, which was the largest WSOP circuit event this year, seeing a huge prize pool of over $2 million. American Christoph Stabanovich was able to fight off the field, including Joe Kuda heads up to take the title and first place of over $356,000. This has totally eclipsed all his previous caches, with the best before that being for just over $13,000 on the Heartland Poker Tour in 2012. Coming up on the circuit, Season 12's European Poker Tour Malta concludes its 5,300 euro main event, which will see a monstrous final table on Saturday the 31st of October, otherwise known as Halloween. A 10,300 single entry high roller will also commence on Thursday the 29th of October. We hope you enjoyed today's show. For the Global Poker Index, I'm Laura Cornelius. We'll see you on the circuit.